guys, Carol here from Desert Wreath Creations, and welcome to my garage crafting lair. If you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button below, leave me a comment, and kick back and enjoy yourself. So, thank you all for joining me. This is my new Easter wreath kit, Easter Blessings. It's a beautiful sign. This is a 10-inch sign that you would get with the kit. And you would also get a 14-inch frame, 25 pipe cleaners, and I'll show you how I put them on. You get two rows of um, full deco mesh. You get this pink and this gray. And aren't they complementary to each other? You get the full rows. I went ahead and cut ours tonight, and I cut it to 34 inches, guys, and you still have plenty left. You're also going to get this floral ribbon in a two and a half inch and a black and white polka dot, two and a half. Yeah, we're gonna put it in some black and white. Hi, Lisa. And you're gonna get some one and a half inch pink and white stripe, gorgeous. And we can't leave out the gray, a gray solid. And you'll get five yards of each one of these. That's plenty to do your wreath and to make a bow, okay? So I'm gonna set these to the side. So what I've done is I've taken and I've put on a pipe cleaner and all I did was pull it over. I put another one on an inch over the top of this one and tied it down. That's all I did guys. Pulled it over, backed it up an inch and put it on. No measuring. This way you get 10 on the outside and you get eight on the inside, okay? Did the same thing on the inside. So first off, we're going to go ahead and get our, our sign ready for attaching it. And what I'm going to do is with the kit, I give you four, you can either do it your own way. If you've got a beadsmith and want to poke holes in it, that is perfectly fine with me, or a jewelry smith, whatever you want to call it right here. That's got the little tiny hole puncher. Or I put in four, um, these are a, a half an inch um, cable mounts, guys, okay? And when you're using cable mounts, make sure to always use um, some super glue because that mount alone isn't gonna hold it on. So I'm just gonna put one up here, a dot up here at the top. Doesn't take much, just a little dot. There, oh, well, that was more than a dot and in each side and at the bottom, okay? And that's gonna be good enough. I, I will be selling the signs after the kid has sold. I wanna give people the opportunity to buy the um, kit and um, to have the sign with the kit and then I'll list the uh, signs. Yeah, I think that's, you know, fair. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year to everybody. Can you believe it's already 2022? If someone would have told me that when I was a little girl, I would say, nah. <laughs> because I didn't think time went fast enough when I was a little girl. Now I'm gonna, since I put those on, I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, hot glue and put it around it. And all this is gonna do is gonna hold it in place while the um, super glue takes effect, guys. Okay, that's all it's going to do. Okay, I'm gonna set it to the side let that dry, and now we're gonna move on to our frame. Thank you. No problem, Dan. So I'm gonna go ahead around my frame, and I'm just gonna take these pipe cleaners and open them up. I've got a not, lot of new things that's gonna go on in Desert Recreation this year. I'm gonna be doing things, um, adding things and stuff as the year goes on and see how that works out for everybody. So here we go. I cut our mesh 
to 34 inches, guys. 34 inches. I'm gonna take my handy dandy rock. Uh, you can use whatever you got handy. And we're gonna do the woodland ruffle. And I'm gonna curl these under three times, okay? Then I'm just gonna flip it. I really don't need the rock anymore because that potato chip clip down there is gonna hold it down good for me. I'm gonna take my thumbs, put it here behind that curl, and I'm just gonna ruffle it right up the middle, okay? And this is gonna make a really full and thick wreath. Cut it 34 inches, guys. And we're just gonna be alternating the two colors. Hi, Elga, hi, Sandra. Oh, I'm so glad. And Happy New Year to everybody. I tell you, this gray is this most stunning gray. It's got the silver metallic in it. And to go with the sign that we're using in this kit is going to be awesome, guys. Awesome. Black Eyed Peas and Cornbread for us today. Need all the luck we can get. <laughs> I know everyone has their own um, New Year's tr um, traditions to bring good luck and fortune in the year to come. I think that is so awesome. Did y'all, hi Connie. Happy New Year to you. Did y'all watch the ball drop last night? I'm going to tell you, I didn't. I was awake, <laughs> but I didn't watch it drop. My husband did. Uh, he was watching TV. And it works out perfect to get your uh, can on the outside and eat on the inside. Or if you want to, you can um, take a little tape measure and measure them a, a four and a quarter inches. Then I said, you know what, well, there's got to be a better way. So I just got to messing around with it. If I back it up an inch, I do it. And four. gorgeous against one another. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So now let's start on the top. So let's go ahead 
and open our ties on the top. That way we're ready for it. Hi, Sybil. How have you been? Happy New Year. Okay. Oops. One, two, and three, guys. Hi, Judy. LaDonna. I love the, the name LaDonna. I think that's a gorgeous name. We're doing the Woodland Ruffle with 34 inch um, pieces of mesh. I do three curls on each end. So what I'm doing now is I'm just sort of going to pull this back, find my open tie, doesn't matter where you start. I'm going to pull it down tight and twist it a couple of times. Then I'm going to pull this forward, pull this one so that it butts up up here and starts that gorgeous ruffle on the top. Did you? Oh, goodness. You know, these are the new colors this year. And I've already gotten my um, a spring kit out also in my shop. And it's with the other... Um, with the other nether, other nether, that didn't make sense, did it? The other color that's going to be popular this year, and that's mint green, guys. And it's a floral um, sign. I'll be doing it live. And the sign says, Welcome, friends. But it's a spring wreath kit. This is my Easter one. Seems like it's early, but you know, with all the shortages. Hi, Rita. Hi, Pat. Oh, you're welcome. No, <laughs> as I tease her and say that, just pulling this apart so I can get it all pushed up there together. And the back uh, rings also, those first ones we put in. And now we're going to put in the last piece of mesh, guys. The last piece, and it's gray. Hi, LB. And Happy New Year. Yes, it's a 14-inch frame. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The last piece. So I usually have to put my both elbows in it. And then I'm going to lay it right down in there T 
tie it down tight. Thank you. I think these colors are gorgeous together. Gorgeous. You know, gray is like black. It just makes the other colors Isn't that going to look darling on there? Absolutely darling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> True crime and crafting, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> so the ribbons that I chose to put together out of this kit is I chose the gray. Just a solid light gray. Oh, good. <laughs> I chose a floral pink, and this is a really a gorgeous pink, okay? Then I chose, of all things, a black polka dot. I love to put black in my wreaths, guys, and don't be scared of it. Thank you, Janie. And we're gonna add in some lighter pink stripes, white and pink stripes. So I cut the ribbons to 12 inches. You will get, um, and that's going to be plenty big. I like to see the mesh in my wreaths, and especially when it's beautiful like this mesh is, okay? So I'm just folding them in half, finding my center, okay? I'm going to move that up to the top. Instead of keeping it right directly in the middle, I'm going to move it to the top, guys. Then I'm just going to ruffle it up the center, Okay, and now I'm going to pull this towards me. And I think what I want to do is I want to put these, starting them in the gray, in the gray meshes tie. Okay, I'm going to twist it three or four times. And then I'm going to trim these off. And then I'm just going to push it all the way to the back. January, uh, my birthday will be coming up on the 27th. And I would like for everyone to join me in a birthday celebration on two nights of my crafting week, where instead of I receive presents, I give them. Oh, how cute, I bet that was. Hi, Carrie, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you join us again. Okay, now I'm pairing the black and white polka dot, and this is that, that big polka dot with this um, pink. Once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I folded them in half, and now I'm putting this ribbon all the way up to the edge of it, okay? And then I'm gonna ruffle it up the center. Pull it towards me. And then I'm going to put these in the pink ties. And twist them three or four times. I'm going to cut these off. You could go a step further with this. You could add some greenery, some florals, um, and just kick it up a notch if you wanted to. Um, since it's Easter, you could put in some little Easter eggs. 
Okay. Oops, that didn't bend back good enough. And I'll show you what these look like in the wreath. Okay. Oops, let me turn this around this way. And it'll look more and more. Um, you'll start seeing the uh, my thought process the more the ribbons get in it. The last ribbons going in around the bottom, guys. Very, oh. Okay. Let me get this one in and I'll show y'all the ribbons going around. There's the ribbons so far going around the outside. I think they're stinking adorable. And that black is just making that pink and gray pop. I have a little straggler. Oh, they come out. This is a little shorty. Okay. So now let's do our ribbons on the top. Now on the top ribbons, I am going to lay them on top of each other in the middle. Okay. Then I'm going to fold them in half. and ruffle it up. I'm gonna come down in here and put us a, a set of them right here. Have no need for these extra. You could always curl them under if you wanted to. I do that sometimes. And now I'm just gonna pull these apart and on the top, I pull these pretty hard to get them to spread out and stay the way I like them. And that pink ribbon is gorgeous, that floral ribbon. I made a spray for my mother's graveside using pink was her favorite color. And I did that last year for her birthday. Um, there's 18 on here, 18 on here. You get 25 with the kit, but there's 18 on here. You haven't used yours yet? Yeah. Same way with this one. I need to put it in the center. Then I go ahead. And on the top, when I, um...
last set of ribbons. You're addicted? Oh, doesn't take much, does it? I love it. I am truly addicted. I hear you. And then I'm going to say I feel for you. <laughs> I still do other crafts, but this is my main one. I, I just love it. I love the beauty of them. Okay, guys. So this is what it's looking like with all of the ribbon on it, the top of it. And see how well this gray and this pink still, so you've got that other intensity in it. I think that's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead when we first started, we started with our sign. You get four uh, the, of the half inch um, cable mounts, or if you have a beadsmith, you can make your own hoe. This is a jewelry smith, beadsmith. I know. No, ma'am, I won't climb no more tables. <clears throat> so this is what you can punch hoes with. I um, use DAP. I like this the best. Rapid Infuse Super Glue. It's a gel. I put a dab and then put my um, cable mounts on and then just put a little bit of hot glue around the outside. Okay. That's just to hold it while it was drying. I just put my pipe cleaner in it. I like my pipe cleaners just where it's one long one. So you've got four ways, because this is like a four way little deal, how you tie them on. If you want to put your pipe cleaner in bent in half, that's fine too. It's whatever you prefer. No more climbing on tables. <laughs> I promise Janie. Okay, so now that we've got those on, I'm going to show y'all the sign again. Isn't this stinking adorable? Okay, so I'm going to place the sign over here towards the side, but not directly in the middle, okay? Right there. I'm going to take a weaving needle that's um, we, where you weave yarn and stuff together. As a thank you for, to anyone that buys my kits, I always put one in the um, kit with it. I think that I want y'all to have the same products as close as possible, and I use this to help me with my signs and stuff. So I just take it, I fold it over, here, and I go straight down to the mesh. I put my hand behind it so I can feel for the needle when it comes through, and I just move it around to get it through all of that. my um, reframe wire. You always want to tie it to your reframe, not just to tie it off. of the 
the kits um, have gone, I think it's only fair that I do it that way. And I will be listing some odd um, kits with just custom signs. Okay, so I tied that one down. Now I'm tying the one above it. And I can show you what I'm doing here. I just pulled it down to where here's my frame. Now I'm gonna come back here, wrap it around and then put it inside there, and it's just gonna tighten it up, okay? Then I'm gonna do it one more time, and this is like a little slip knot, and tie it down. Lots of times, it only takes two, but I go ahead and hook mine on at four spots, Now we're gonna do the outside and then the inside. Thank you, Janie. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Doing the same thing here. So I can't, my fingers are too fat, guys. That's what I'm blaming it on anyway because it's hard for me to get them around these little <laughs> rings to get them in there. They don't want to move around like I want them to. Or should I say, I had a, when I went to college, my instructor told me, he says, and this is way back there, there's no such thing as fat. And I'm like, yay, first time I've ever heard someone say that. She says, you might be fluffy. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, that might make me feel a little better. You know, he's done really well. Um, they removed like an egg-sized little mass from his little groin, and they cleaned his teeth, and he had to get two of them taken out. But, um, and he's got the cone of shame on. Um, they would have preferred him stay in the clear, hard plastic one, but all he would do was stand there. He didn't know what to do. So I got him a, a boy blue one, and he's been wearing that boy blue soft one around, and he's done really well. I felt so sorry for him the first night. You know, um, he couldn't, um, he got, he was throwing up and he couldn't eat. So all well, he could drink. Okay, so now you just go back, position your ribbons, make them pop out pretty. Stuck to the mesh. Let's get this one. There we go. More for that. Let's make us a bow. I'm gonna show you. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable, guys? Okay, bow time, guys. Put my needle up or I'll I lose them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and you have, I don't know if you like zip ties or pipe cleaners for your bows. I use pipe cleaners. I'm going to go ahead and thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, yes, ma'am. It You know, you don't really know. They can't talk to you. And, you know, he just laid in the floor and they said that they gave him plenty of pain medicine not to give him any till the next day. Well, the nurse and me said he was hurting. So the nurse and me gave him a half of a pill. Thank you. Okay. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to put in this black polka dot first. Okay. You have plenty of ribbon left after cutting your ties. Okay. Let's make, let me get some of this stuff out of my way. 
got a wire right there getting light. So let's make um, a 12 inch tail. So I'm just going to ruffle, I measured out 12 inches. I'm gonna ruffle it up, okay? I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna twist it, put it in between my pegs. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna measure to six inches, put it down in here, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna twist it. And I'm gonna move this, this loop right down here, make sure and it's still fluffed. I like to keep my bow laid out. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to six inches. I'm gonna twist it again. Let me straighten that up for you. And I'm gonna move this one to right up there. Okay. To six. Then right over here. To six. I'm gonna push it on down in there. And I'm gonna pull it out front. So I'm gonna keep these where I want them. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some of this pink stripe. And this is the, the reason I'm stacking the bow with these colors is I really like this pink one. So I want it to be seen more. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> he follows me everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to bring this one down to 12 inches too. You can make it a little longer if you want. Some people make theirs a little longer and then they curl them. I'm not a curler much, okay? So then I'm going to, I'm gonna come out here to the six and I'm only gonna make one loop right here in the center. And I'm making it to six and I'm gonna push it down in there. I'm gonna fluff it up, okay? And I'm gonna bring it forward. Cut it off. We've got still got some left. We may use it. Okay. So now we're going to get. I was wondering if I nope. Our pink floral. I'm going to come down here to the same 12 inches. I'm going to twist it, poke it down in there. Okay. I am going to come out here to the five. And I'm gonna pull it up. Nope, let's pull it down. Don't want you to get you confused. I'm gonna pull it down. And you're still gonna see that polka dot back and behind it. This one's gonna be at the five. We're gonna twist it too. This would be really pretty with some cream colored ribbon, with some, out of five, um, with some really pretty um, summer green, spring green. I'm just gonna measure it off of that poke it down, but then before I pull it down, I'm gonna bring this. I always get that one a little longer, okay? I like to put it straight down in there. I'm gonna cut this off. Still have a little left. We're gonna bring in our gray. About the same. I'm going to go ahead and come down to a four 
right here, just a four. One loop. Have some left. And now we had this strip of pink left, right, from doing it this way. Frozen? Mmm, I'm watching it and I'm good. Maybe if you go out and come right back. Oh, okay. So, with this last piece, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a center loop in, guys. So, I'm this one's going to be shorter because we've already got a longer one. So, I'm just going to... Um, here we go. Twist it. And I'm just going to put a small center loop right here. I like to go ahead and twist mine. And I know it's on the wrong side in the wrong side of the material. But we're going to fix that. So we have plenty of ribbon left out of the five yards each. Good now? Okay, thank goodness. Okay, the two pot cleaners that I tied together, I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to take my middle finger and my pointer finger, and first I'm just going to push up on my ribbon because I push my ribbon down in there really hard, guys. Really hard. Make sure I've got them. So now I'm going to put these two pegs right between them, okay, with my other fingers in it. I'm going to smash down because this is really thick ribbon, and I'm just going to lightly pull it up. I'm not pulling it hard or anything like that. I'm going to put my pipe cleaner right down the center to where you can see where it comes out in between my fingers, okay? And all I do is I put a little pressure on it, and I move my thumb over to the top. I'm going to take these pipe cleaners, and I'm going to pull the dickens out of them, and I'm going to start my twist, turn it over, and I'm going to twist my bow. Like to, here we go. I'm going to grab a hold of my bow. Okay. So if you look at this, everything's in position. Everything is really fluffed. It needs minimal work left to it. So what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to stick my fingers. I'm sticking my fingers, and I'm I'm not tugging on them because I don't really need to. I'm just making sure they're where I want them to be. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this gray one, get back down there. I'm gonna move that gray one right there, okay? So then starting on the bottom, just pull your tails toward you. And I did the pink ones next. The floral ones, the gray ones. Okay, so now this one's on the wrong side and it's upside down. So if you'll sort of pull your top to the side, that little button, and just put your thumb, let me get it back there, put your thumb way down in here underneath it to the right side and just twist it that half a turn It'll go right over here to the side it's supposed to go on, and then you can pull these down in the center, and then come back up here, put your fingers in that little loop, I call it a top knot, and then we've got us a cute little bow. Okay, thank you. Then we're gonna come over here, and using our, see I told you, I've got it older weaving needle here. I'm going to take my weaving needle. I'm going to put both of them through there. Bend them over good. And I'm going to come up right about right there. Go to the back and find it. 
me get it, I sort of wiggle it around. Then what I do is I come up here holding this top knot and I pull my bow down, wiggle it around, making sure, because this has got Easter blessings on it, guys. So I don't want it to cover my words up. So I just move it around a little bit. Or you could put it up higher, whatever you wanted to do. Okay, take my weaving needle off. I take one of them, one of the uh, wires, and I put it around the wreath form. Okay, it's making sure, okay, and I wanna make sure it's tight before I snug it down, but I'm not pulling it so tight, thank you, that it's um, pulling down into the um, mesh itself. Okay. This is why I like to cut, I like to cut my tails last. So I'm just gonna dovetail them, folding them in half. I cut from the um, folded side, cutting it just a little. They're clo all close to the same length, just a tad shorter. And of course, these are even shorter, which is fine with me. Do it again. I don't care if mine are the same length on both sides. I think it looks better if they're not because I think that, um, you know, I, I just think it looks better than being symmetrical. It's a craft. It's something homemade. Let me cut this off just a little shorter. There we go, and there's our gorgeous Easter wreath.